What's up guys, it's Christian and I am back. I know it's been a while since I made a video and a lot has changed since I graduated. If you've been following me on social media, I graduated UNLV's FMP program back in December 2021. And since then, I've just been studying for boards, working on my questions every single day and just trying to prepare myself to pass and officially become Christian Cervantes FNP. Um, so since I graduated back in December 2021, I've been doing a lot of study questions and the resources that I've been using in particular are the APA, the Holly A review. And this is a review that my school actually provided for me. And so what I did was I printed out the entire instruction manual, put it in a binder, and I have went through the all the videos, all of the resources that the program offered to me, just to kind of get a general overview of what I needed to know for the FNP board exam. Second resource I'm using right now is also the Leak Review book. It's a nice manual. Um, everyone that's in FNP school will tell you about this book, and it's pretty dense, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of material in it, a lot of pictures, resources, and I've used this book as a resource, so if there was any particular questions or rationale that I didn't get when I was taking my study questions, I simply go straight to the book, look up the topic in hand, and research it, and just kind of practice, practice, practice with that. The good thing about the Leak Review book is that there's also a lot of um, extra practice questions that are provided. So if you purchase the book, you also get digital code where you can use that code, go on to a different application on the computer and just do practice questions. And I feel like I can't emphasize this enough, doing the most practice questions possible will help you get into the zone, especially if you have a similar format to the FNP board exam, it'll just help you get into that mode. Another resource that I'm using is UWorld, and this is something that I've been using ever since I passed my initial board exam for my nursing degree, and it has been a lifesaver. I'm talking 900 questions of a test bank where you could go in and take questions similar to the FNP board exam, and it'll just prepare you and also offer you all the rationale that you need. I'd like to say I've been going over about 100 to 150 questions a day, which is the max that you can take on that um, test bank. And just keep going over and over and over it until eventually where you take the question that you got wrong and taking those questions and just reading all the rationales and it's been a lifesaver. And last but not least, another resource that I like using is going to be Picmonic. Picmonic is also something I've been using since the beginning of my FNP schooling. And it's also been, you know, providing me a lot of additional resources, pictures, videos. And as you guys know, I'm a visual learner, so it's also been helping me a lot. If you guys are interested in looking into Picmonic, I'll include down below in the description box my personal code so that you can use it and also get a discount on taking that. But speaking of days off, something else that has also happened since my last video is that I am officially back on day shift. And this is a long time coming. As you guys know, I've always been a day person. And when I first applied for the ICU position, the only available position was night shift because at the time there was a bigger demand for night shift workers and anyone, whether you're a new graduate nurse or you're an established nurse, um, my management wanted me to go straight to working night shift first just so I can get the experience, have time to learn. And I've been there for over a year. I didn't think I was going to like it initially because I've never been a night shift person, but I'm not going to lie. I learned so much on night shift. I made a lot of friends. And since I graduated back in December, I was offered multiple opportunities to train in different specialties that I couldn't imagine, such as CRT, Code Chill, Balloon Pump, Impella, and I even got in training to take care of post-cardiac intervention patients, those who had just had uh, heart surgery, open heart, cabbage procedures. So a lot has happened since then, and I was able to eventually work my way up. I put in about one year, actually more than a year or so in the ICU, and eventually I was able to land a position into the day shift. And I'm telling you guys, Ever since I started day shift, I feel like I have a lot more energy. I've been able to go to the gym early in the morning. I'm talking like five o'clock in the morning, go straight to work, which is my old flow. And I just have a lot more energy than I do. So guys, I know that was a pretty big update. A lot has been changing since I graduated back in December. So I hope that, you know, this kind of gives you perspective, especially, you know, if you can follow me on social media, I am still alive, I'm still here. And I hope that I'll be able to pass this board exam and be able to share with you guys my experiences and how to pass that board exam. Until then, I'll continue to make content. I like to make videos on, you know, what I'm exactly I'm studying in uh, from my FMP board exam so I can share with you guys. That way I can also help teach myself and, you know, retain the information by sharing with you what I'm learning in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.